Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you know that in the next few months, most of the companies will be visiting your campus for uh, placements for full time uh, roles and for internships. So I thought of making this video to tell you guys how can you prepare uh, for this next two months in the, in the best possible manner. Basically, how can you utilize your remaining time in the best possible manner? Okay, so I will be uh, giving you the strategy to prepare for placements. So uh, first thing is, please, please don't underestimate aptitude. Aptitude is actually pretty important because it's the screening round. And if you're not able to clear the aptitude, right, you'll not be able to proceed in the next round that is the interview. So yes, interviews, preparing for interviews, preparing for technical subjects is important, but please don't underestimate aptitude. In gate, aptitude comes pretty easy, but in your campus placements, in the screening rounds, the aptitude is, the level of aptitude sometimes is on the higher side than the gate level. So what are the practice resources? So best way to practice for aptitude is, uh, is by solving the CAT level problems. Like CAT CAT is exam similar to gate, but it's for uh, MBA. So there the level of aptitude is on the higher side, but I'm not telling you to solve all the CAT level problems. Just solve the easy CAT level problems, right? Easy, easy level CAT problems so that your level is a bit higher than the gate side so that you're well prepared for the screen, screening round of the uh, uh, return test, right? Basically for the companies, you're prepared for the screening round so that you can clear the screening rounds, okay? So that's how you can prepare for uh, screening tests, right? And of course, uh, you have to prepare your technical subjects that is there that anyways you are preparing so i'm not telling you anything extra now uh, for the second point that i want to say is cover your basics right uh, because you try to learn so many things i will uh, do this in cadence i will model this in cadence do that do this but if you are not able to cover the basics then you will not be able to clear the interviews because your schematic all those things are not important in interviews in inter interviews first of all they will ask few questions in, in, in resume but not that many questions especially for hardware rules for software yes resume is very very important but for hardware as a fresher they are not expecting many things from you they are expecting just the conceptual knowledge for a fresher i'm talking about in the hardware domain so don't stress too much on your resume focus on building basic blocks like uh, what are the basic blocks for analog VLSI rule? There is RC, right? RC circuits, the, the interviews generally start with RC circuits, then a bit of uh, MOSFETs they will ask, OPAMs they will ask. So focus on building the basics so that anything simple, they will ask you simple things only, okay? Then they will move on to the difficult things automatically, slowly. So you have to first start off with the basics, then you move on to the difficult. So first cover the basics, then you go on to the difficult topics, okay? Now, how, uh, how can you, practice for mock interviews. So we have videos, just search mock interview Anishaha, right? You'll get few videos. You can watch those videos. You can get an idea how to actually uh, behave in the interviews, how to represent yourself in the inter interview. Uh, basically what you have to do is, whatever you're thinking in your mind that you have to explain to the interview, right? You should be good at explaining. If you're not good at explaining, then you will not be able to clear the interview because ultimately whatever you're thinking, that thought process must be relayed to the interviewer so that they can make an informed decision that do you have the technical knowledge or not. S similarly, following al along the same guidelines, you try to remain calm and composed in the interviews. Don't get too much excited or don't get too much like silent, okay? Don't be totally silent, don't be totally excited. Just be calm, composed, normal, and try to explain whatever you're thinking conceptually, explain to the interviewer, okay? Now, how can you prepare for screening test? Interview I have already told, screening test you can prepare uh, using our placement test series, you can take our placement test series. There are a few AIMTs, All India Mock Test, those are free only. So you don't have to pay any extra, anything extra for that. So you can prepare from that. Okay. And also there are gate PYQs. You can solve the gate PYQs to prepare for the technical uh, subjects. Obviously I have told you for uh, aptitude, you can prepare using the CAD level PYQs. Okay. Now, uh, this, these are the resources basically. Now there is, if you want to prepare the subjects in a thorough manner so that you can clear the interviews. So I have made a video, digital VLSA roadmap, search that video, digital VLSA roadmap. I have explained everything, free plus paid resources. It's a like 100 days roadmap. You have to follow along with that and complete syllabus, curriculum, every single thing has been mentioned, every single resource, free, paid, everything has been mentioned. So you can go and watch that video. Okay, that video will be somewhere here. And yeah, that's it basically, that's it from my end. All the best to you guys, who, whoever are preparing for campus placements, just remain calm, just clear your basics, have good fundamentals. Don't worry, you will be able to clear the interviews. For screening test, I've already told you how to uh, clear the screening test. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy learning.